this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to add a fav icon to your website. This will cover adding a fav icon into a HTML website as well as a PHP and WordPress site. Let me first explain what a fav icon is and does. When you visit a website you'll notice a small image next to the title in the tab. That is the fav icon. Normally a logo but it can be anything to identify that the tab has your website open. You'll also see a fav icon when you bookmark a website or when you check the RSS feed. To add a favicon to your website you'll need to get two things, the image for the favicon and the HTML code to the link to the image. To create the favicon you can use any image editor you like. I'm going to show an example through GIMP as it is a free software. If you're using Photoshop there is an extension you'll have to download. The extension will allow you to save files in the .ico format. To get the Photoshop extension visit www.telegraphics.com.au forward slash sw forward slash product forward slash ico format then download the version to suit your computer. Right let's create the favicon. First open up GIMP and open a new file. We want the final image to be 32 pixels by 32 pixels but for editing an image this can be difficult to work with. So let's make the image size 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Under advanced options you should set the resolution to 72 pixels per inch the colour space should be set to RGB colour and the fill width should be set to your chosen colour. Click OK once ready. If you need to zoom in or out, hold the control button and scroll. Now go to File Open and locate the image you want to use as a favicon. And once you've selected it, click Open. Then right click the image and go to Edit Copy. Then switch back to the document we created and hit Ctrl V on your keyboard. Then right click the float and selection under the layers panel and click to new layer. Now select the scale tool from the toolbox. Under the tool options scroll down and make sure the keep aspect box is checked. Then click on the image and you see a box appear. Make sure the link is attached between the width and the height. Now click on the down arrow until the height is 500 pixels. If the width of your image is bigger than the height you reverse this and click the down arrow on the width box. After that click scale. Next select the move tool from the toolbox and center the image. To be more precise you can select the alignment tool and click on the image. And under the tool options select align center and align middle. Before we export the image we have to take it down to the appropriate scale. Under image select scale image and replace the 500 pixel value with 32 pixels for both the width and height then click scale. Then right click on the image layer and click merge down. Let's export the file by going to file export. Name the file favcon.ico and select the Microsoft Windows icon as the file type. Choose the location you want and click export. You'll be displayed with a Windows icon box. I'm just going to select the default option it's given me and click on export. Open up the folder hold on your favicon image. Single click the image to make sure the image dimensions are 32 by 32. If they are not you'll have to go back to edit the image. We will now move on to the HTML code. I will first make a basic website directory. Here you can see three pages and three folders. The favicon is inside the images folder. Let's open all the files in the editor. I'm using Notepad++ which is free and can be downloaded at notepad++.org. The files don't have that much in them but we'll do for showing you how to insert the related favicon code. The code will be provided below but let's have a look at the code on a live website. Enter grantheindesigner.co.uk into the URL bar. When the page loads right click and view page source code. Highlight the two lines we need and click Ctrl Z to copy. Then paste the code into the web page you are using. Make sure that you paste the code between the opening head tag and the closing head tag. Hit Ctrl S to save the file and open the file with the browser. Notice that the favicon from grantheindesigner.co.uk is displayed. To change this, all you have to do is to change the href value to match your site. You won't see the favicon display until you have uploaded it to the website through the FTP. I'll show this step later. 
If you're adding the favorite content .html files, you'll have to add the code to the head of every page. If you're adding the code to a website built using PHP and the website is split into sections, then you will only have to enter the code once into the header .php file. The file may be under a different name, but just find the file with the header tags. WordPress is built through PHP and will be the same concept for adding code. I will take you through a live example as I add a favicon to my tutorial website. First thing we will get you to do is to log in to your chosen FTP. I am using FileZilla which can be downloaded for free at FileZillaProject.org. Then navigate to the base level of your website you wish to add favicon to. Then find favicon from your computer and double click it to upload it to your website. Log into your WordPress website and click on the editor link under the appearance tab. Select the header.php file from the right. You can see the opening header tag and the closing header tag. Just before the closing header tag, add the lines of code. If not already done so, you should now change the href values to match your domain name. Look at the front page of your website. You might not see the favicon appear straight away, so go to the history of your browser and clear the cache. Go back to the website and refresh. You should now see the favicon you created displayed on every page of your website, including the dashboard. And that's it for this video tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment and please like and share the video.